put the stove jack on here and you run your pipe through there. All right, it's that time again, time for the solo over nighter in the woods. And I think I found it, the ultimate tarp that can be used for several tarp tent configurations and be made into a hot tent as well. Let's get to it. stove jack as well. Today we're working with this tarp. It's almost a 12 by 12. Um, most tarp companies claim they're 8 by 8 or 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 and it's really like 11 and a half by 11 and a half or 9 and a half by 9 and a half or 7.5 by 7.5 because they account for the stitching and the extra material and what it boils down to is they don't want to purchase more material. So it is what it is. But it's about 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And like I showed you, it comes with a stove jack. Now the name of this is Dalubo or something. Um, most likely I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. It's found on Amazon. And I've been waiting for something like this. On my channel, you've seen several different tent tarp or tarp tent configurations. And the one thing I'm always talking about is putting a hot stove in there during the winter time. And I'm a firm believer, and I've said it thousands of times, that if you give me a tent or a tarp, I'm gonna choose a tarp because I can do a lot more. Well, this one right here today, hopefully will prove that theory. Now, the one downside that I noticed right off the bat is there are no tent stakes. So you gotta bring your own or make them out in the woods. On that note, let's get to it. Before we get too far down the trail, we had a midweek video that dropped. It was called Corporal's Corner Midweek Video Number 29, new logoed cup and bottle set. Yes, sir. I have a wide mouth stainless steel bottle with a bale, a swivel bale for the lid. We have a mini bush pot nesting cup that goes with it. Fits right inside there. And the video that dropped answered most of the questions. So you can see there's water inside of it. Now check this out. Taking our lid, we're gonna place it on there and we're gonna tighten it down just like you would any other bottle. Now watch this. Oh look, it's not loose as hell. And look, Watch this, wait for it. No water is leaking anywhere. Not from here or around the seal. But wait, there's more. Now, on that note, let's get back to this video. So what's cool about this tarp right here, like I said, it's 11 and a half by 11 and a half or 12 by 12. We have D-ring loops all over this thing. And I actually like the D-ring option versus just having some kind of piece of material that's gonna rip and tear off. The first configuration, I wanna go ahead and just make an actual hot tent because that's the actual intent. We're gonna grab the middle loop right here, which has a grommet as well. We're gonna tie it to this tree, go to the other end and tie that one to a tree. It's gonna give it that nice winged slope appearance and then we'll drop our side walls down. Here's that middle loop with that grommet. We're gonna go ahead and just pass a loop through here and then pass it through itself, kind of like an improvised lark's head knot. We're not gonna reinvent the wheel. We've done this several times on my channel. Just pass it through here. And we're done. They're gonna use an improvised trucker's hitch to tie it off to our tree. Then we'll just pull this thing up and then tie it to this tree over here with another improvised trucker's hitch. All right, so we can go through here, twist it over, drop it down, pull it through, and then take our end, shove it through here, Again, we're not reinventing the already reinvented wheel. We're doing what works. One and done. Pull this tight. 
and then we'll pinch it, drape it over, and then simply pull it through towards my hand. Done. All right, on to the next thing. Here's the reinforced D-rings that we're talking about right here along the sides. This is gonna be pulled out and become our side walls. So for this back door, all we're going to do is just pull it tight and then kind of overlap them, one on the outside, one on the inside. That's all you really can do with something like this. What I don't like about this whole setup is that there is no zipper. It'd be a lot cooler if I had a zipper, but I get what they're trying to do here. You can actually use this setup over a hammock and that's why they want that open like that. But to retain the heat, I mean, it'd be better than laying out in the ground, but all you can do is overlap them. And I don't like that, but it is what it is, so. And underneath you have your loop, or to fasten on there, put the stove jack on here and you run your pipe through there. So this configuration right here is a tried and true design. You've seen it on my channel, I wanna say about three, Thanksgivings ago, there was one by one tigress that thing was huge. I could fit myself in there, a cot in there, all my gear, the hot stove was in there. This is a smaller one. It rolls up to about six inch diameter by about 14 inches in length. And it weighs probably about a pound and a half, if that. So you can easily fasten it to the bottom of a backpack or stuff it inside the backpack. But this right here would be perfect to throw over a hammock. Um, might be cramped in there with the stove and a hammock but you can easily lay inside here with the stove on that side, with that pipe running through, and it should work out well. So real quick, how I set this up, this is the back. It could easily be the front. They're identical. The difference is your stove jack is only on one side. So you gotta pick that when you set this bad boy up. Put the stove right there. I can sleep diagonally right here. But the true purpose, in my opinion, of this design is for a hammock. You have more than 12 feet tip to tip over there where you could be suspended. I would be hesitant to put a stove right here and a hammock right above it. But, you know, do what you think is best. However, like I just said, laying in here diagonally with a stove right there, you have more than enough room to lay here, have some firewood in here, have your gear right there, be out of the elements, and have a small heat source. So that's pretty cool. And again, it packs up into something this big around and about that long. Now, let's go ahead and set this thing up in the configuration that I enjoy and the reason why I bought the bad boy. Let's get to it. So the reason why I bought this is because I can do my classic tarp tent configuration and have a stove jack and a stove inside of it. And this is also basically a 12 by 12, so I think it's perfect. And if we do this right, that opening should be pretty low to the ground and maybe even possibly be able to close the door. But let's worry about that down the road. So first off, we're gonna ignore the first corner. We're gonna stab in our stake there. One, two, put another one right here and pull it tight. There we go. Now jump to the front. Taking our front corner, we're gonna go ahead and tuck it underneath right here and put it in line with our second loop. And then go ahead and just stake this out, pull it tight and stake it. We'll come back and mess around with that and adjust it later. Do the same thing to this side. Take this one and we'll place it underneath here in line with our second one and stake it down.
And just like the opposite corner, we'll tuck this in. And then for right now, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make this into the true tarp tent configuration. I'm in the back part of the tent right now, and I'm laying basically perpendicular to the door. The door is right there, so I'm laying parallel with it, I'm laying perpendicular. And there's a good two feet over here, and you can see about two foot over here. So I'm happy with this, it's worked out well. I have more than enough room for my gear. If that hot stove wasn't in here, you could probably lay somebody else in here as well with their gear. So this 12 by 12 is perfect. And just with that hot stove being on for damn 10 minutes, I'm getting ready to sweat in here. So it's gonna be nice and warm and toasty. So the last thing real quick before I get food, and I'm not gonna film it because I'm gonna do things different, um, is if I tell you there's items in my Etsy store and you go there and they are gone, that means it's sold out, okay? You didn't press the wrong button, there wasn't confusion, I didn't make a mistake, I didn't put it in somebody else's Etsy store, you got there late, you watched the video late, you watched it two, three days late. You watched it five hours late. Most of the time, whatever I put in there, it's gone. And that's why I was valuable to other companies because I was an affiliate. And I would say, hey, these are there now. And they'd be gone. So um, some say that's a good thing. Some say it's a bad thing. But most of the items I make or I put in there, they're gone. So if you don't watch when the video drops around 1030-ish Eastern time on Sundays, you're gonna miss. If you skip through the video and don't hear me say I'm dropping it, you're gonna miss. So, simple thing, make sure all your notifications are on, get on my email list at corporateaf.com, be there at 10.30 a.m. and start hitting that refresh button. Look for that video to drop, and chances are, you might get one. On that note, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna get some firewood stacked, and I'll catch you on the morning for breakfast.
can't go wrong with that. What's that mean? It means the Etsy store is open. Once again, my Etsy store is open. And what do we got this week? We have 50 more cup and bottle sets. And that's going to be the end of my limited run. So if you didn't get one, don't worry. In a few months, I'll bring them back. We're going to move on to something else. Like I mentioned last week. It's going to be stick and move. Stick and move. Um, I don't want to be an online store. I don't want to have a warehouse. I don't want to keep track of a bunch of gear. As soon as I get the gear, I want to get rid of it. So along with that, we have our cold handle skillets. We have the hat patches, bag patches. We have our universal patches. We have these sweatshirts. Um, I believe there's about 35 left out of 500. So once again, I appreciate you. Um, thanks a lot. But it's kind of one of those things where you got to strike while the iron's hot. You see it, get it. Because just like the possum mentality, collect all those resources as you come across them. Because where you're going, you might not have those. And that philosophy resonates with me in whatever I do. Let's go ahead and talk about this shelter, then we'll get out of here. We have a 11 and a half by 11 and a half, which is their 12 by 12. It's not a standard 12 by 12, but it works. It's meant for that first configuration, a hot tent in the woods. But you see that you can do a whole lot more with it. Now, here's the downside. It's a bit pricey, but most things are pricey when it comes to convenience. You're getting a two for one, a hot tent option or a tarp option. And in those options, you have several other configuration options as well. So something to think about, I'll drop this in my Amazon affiliate link in my video description box. Along with that, right next to it, you have my Etsy store. So you can go there, check out these hoodies, check out the skillets, check out whatever we have left for a couple bottle sets and get after it. Um, in the future, we got more things dropping to the Etsy, but that's weeks down the road. So bear with me, I'm doing what I can. Um, and hopefully it all work out for everybody. So last thing on our list before we get out of here, I plugged this last week. We have three classes that I'll be teaching at in 2024 with Buckeye Bushcraft. And those are modern survival skills courses. And I believe we have spots, 30 spots available per class and they're filling up. We're about halfway right now on all these classes. So my intent is to pack these classes out, give you guys a good time, give you guys options, um, something else you can look at, a different way of perceiving things and still getting it done while conserving calories. Um, slower paced classes that aren't beat downs. Um, we're not gonna beat the dead horse. So we're gonna teach this skill. You're gonna demonstrate that skill. We're gonna move on to the next thing. And it'd be a good two and a half days. Um, and I think for the price that they're offering, it's moderately priced. And the instructors are going to be Jake Trent and myself from Buckeye Bushcraft. And that link is inside my video description box. Just click on it, check it out. The gear list is right there as well. And you can go to my Amazon affiliate link and it says my gear list 2024. And you can pull some of those items right off there and basically do a two for one and get her done. On that note, let's end this bad boy off. All the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon affiliate link, and two, my Etsy store. Both links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun, and I'm going to catch you next time.